I am sick and tired of your numerous excuses. Listen, boy. You pick a bride now or I'll be forced to pick one for you. Why are you planning on this issue as if picking a bride is walking into a supermarket to get groceries? This getting a bride thing is a mission. And this mission needs time, Dad. It needs time. Lecture me like I have never been there before. Lecture me. I married your mother who gave birth to you and your problems. Dad, I am a prince of one of the most influential kingdoms in this town. Every lady that I've come across are all gold diggers. They pretend they love me, but they are after my wealth. Your wealth, this kingdom's wealth. I don't trust them, Dad, and I'm not going to settle for that. No! If I had that thought, that all girls were gold diggers, then you wouldn't be here. And we wouldn't be having this conversation. Dad! Keep quiet! I am sick and tired of your preachings. Now listen to me. You fix up your life, pick up a bride, or I will pick one up for you violently. You're always making excuses for not getting married because of your heartbreaks in Canada. And please, stop stereotyping all women as the same. Dolly, please don't bring that kind of history here, please. Eh? We're not talking about random girls or hook up girls on the internet. We're talking about the queen, the future queen of the DG Kingdom. Somebody that will pilot the affairs of this kingdom with me. Oh, really? Don't you think you shouldn't have been a prince, but rather a pastor? Believe me. You excel in it. You have given everyone millions of silly reasons for not getting married. Now look at it. It has finally come to a saturation point. Brother, get married. Get married! Just like I've done. Hold on. If my instinct tutors me right, it means that you're hiding something from me. Dolly, why are you in Nigeria? I can't follow. At least you can follow the fact that you said you came here for a project. And my curiosity stands out. Which project is that? All right, fine. I will not hide anything from you. You're right. You're my project. Exactly. You are my project. Get married. So that dad can have peace of mind. And I can also peacefully go back to my husband in London. Listen to me, brother. If anything, anything happens to dad because of this issue of you not getting married, eh, I will not forgive you. Now listen and listen to me very, very well. Clear your earbuds now because I'm going to be talking to you. I am no one's project. I, the Prince of Odeshi Kingdom, will not be forced to marry anyone. I will marry when I want to and how I want to. You see, I don't like your tone. You should realize that I am the future king of this kingdom. I will pilot the affairs of the kingdom. Learn how to speak to me. I will not warn you again. Are you listening? I am sorry, your gracious majesty. But get married rather than demanding a king's respect without no wife. What the hell is wrong with this one? What does beating her in London? Oh, this issue is getting serious. Mama? Mama? No. Ah, you're back. Hey, hey, Pedro. No. No. I've finally gotten the job. I'm even happier than you are. <laughs> Those long weeks of searching for job, wow. going from one company to the other, from Jerusalem to Jericho, <laughs> looking for Ufualo. 
<laughs> okay, um, you know, I was so worried about this keke ticket sales girl. But when I learned it is pay as you go, and you know that offers a lot of free time and also the cool cash that comes with it. I love this your job. Yes. At least he gives you enough time to spend some moments with me. Anya, manon katano. Mama, you like just a lot. When was the last time we just did that? Mother and daughter. <laughs> eh? <laughs> okay, mama. Is there food in the house? I know you asked me that. Go, go and dish. <laughs> <laughs> Dish every oh, time. Finish the I food. I trust your cooking. I tell you again. Finish the food. But wash my plate, so okay, okay. please. Chukunda. <sighs> so finally, she has the job now. All those while she was walking from one end of the road to the other, looking for one job. Oh, follow. Mbalo. Eh? Can I do it? Bia, bia, eh, Kedafia. Don't finish my food. I've not eaten no. Whereas you know that there is a load of it. You have a load of problems. A bucket full of it. I've not heard you say or speak a word about the problem you have. But why are you choking me on this matter? For God's sake, allow me breathe. Allow me breathe, Father. You have made your point. Allow me to have peace so I can pick a great woman, a desired woman that will lead this kingdom forward. Father, please allow me for Christ's sake. Oh! Want peace. Want peace. Look at you! You want peace. And yet you keep gulping alcohol like a whale living in the ocean. Peace! Father, I must ask you, what kind of aquatic documentary do you watch? Whales. I mean, whales drink in ocean. <laughs> serious. Look at me. Look at this face, son. Look at this face! Does this face look like a face that jokes? Does it? Does it? Hey, fix your life, son. Fix your life, son, and become responsible. Listen, let me tell you this. If you ever succeed in welling up the demons of hell inside of me, you will regret it as a prince. You will regret it even as a prince! Yes! Father, why are you becoming so mean? I'm not happy. You win and win. Mama, the Keke man nearly beat me today. And he collected tickets from me without paying. And on top of that, he said he would pluck my eyes. Hmm. Um, the best thing for you to do is to report him to higher authority. Because I wouldn't want a situation whereby you start having disputes with a talk. You can hand up and pick up. I want you to be safe. Mama, the organizer by the roadside told me that this particular work I'm doing is not for gentle people like me. That in this job you have to be tough, if possible, combat them. Chalo, <clears throat> combat on it. When you cannot combat, <laughs> you want to combat a talk? Ha! Just listen to what you're saying. Listen to yourself. How can an organizer tell you that when there is a KK association that you can go and report to? Please, I'm not going to give up on a Please. 
Mama, but you said you will fight for me now. Eh? You have organized said you will fight. Who is fighting for you? I am watching. For Kameza is fighting for you. Has he finished fighting for himself? For you guys, for Kameza is fighting for you. Pico, but Pico, Pico, you are all I have. Hmm? I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Can your one, Pico? If you have issues with any Kekema, like I said, go to the, the association, Kekema Association, go and report him there. It's him, Vokaneza. Vokaneza, what did you have for? Mama. Oh, this is the problem I usually have with you. I'm telling you something, it's him, but Mama, but Mama, you want me to leave it to go and fight with a talk? I'm You want me to leave it to go and fight with him? You won't allow me to talk in this house. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mama, 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 you say she, the guy almost put hand in your eye. No, he me go get tinya kaketa. Who wants to get that there? Me. I need to be you. Mama. Oh, how did it be? Maybe it was fine. Mm. It was okay. Spent all your day making dresses or ordering for dresses. <laughs> You know how I love shopping. You want to be the most fashionable princess in the world. Good day, Dad. <clears throat> Good day. Dad, are you okay? You look so serious. Yes. Everything is okay. My children, serious issues are discussed with serious faces. Grave issues are also discussed wearing grave looks. The matter before us now, what I have to tell you, is what you probably have never heard. So you are going to hear it for the first time. Fred, you must particularly pay attention. Years back, this our kingdom had a big assembly. Assembly of all elders. Our ancestors took an oath, made a covenant. And when a covenant is entered into, especially by the elders, that covenant is binding on every person. It is also binding on the land, and it also includes the gods. What they agreed was that kingship of this kingdom will never leave our family. Really? Yes. What this entails is that kingship we in this family must produce the kingdom's kings in perpetuity. Note, it also entails that anybody that arrogates, anybody that becomes king or assumes kingship in this kingdom outside this family shall die. It is that serious. And that's where you come in, Fred. I am king today. You are my first son. After me, you shall become king. Your sons also shall become kings after you. What if he produces only female children? That's a good question. You see, our culture is deep. Our culture 
is diverse. Our culture has an answer to almost everything. Let's put it this way, that when that happens, we shall consult our culture. The gods are there. The oracles are there. Beyond that, let me put it in the common palace. When we get to that river, we shall cross it. And that's why I've always been on you, Fred. You need to get married fast. That's why we must choose a wife. tried online dating I'm amazed you want to look for a date on Facebook man you know since after that told us that very very sad historical things I just feel I need to hit the door running because it disturbs me so bad and if we do not get a hair to the throne we are doomed you are doomed, not us. Everything is in your hands right now. Don't mess it up. Well, back to my question anyway, because you did not answer me. Have you tried online dating? How, how, how did that go for you? Fred, online dating will not work. There are a lot of fake lives online. Online hmm. dating is a scam. Take my advice. Do not go there. But don't worry, I'll hook you up with a girl. Mm. Hello, I don't want a girl. I want girls to choose from. Okay. Really? Don't give me that look. You understand, you know the mission at hand. Okay? I need to pick a girl that is suitable for this kingdom, that will move to this kingdom to the next level. You understand, sis? Stop being sarcastic. Okay, my dear. Mm. I understand what you mean. I know what you're trying to do. You and this, your funny speech, you always have this up your sleeves. Don't disturb me. Let you me know me very well. If you can't help me, go, 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 go and do your vasanista inside, please. Leave oh, me. do your thing. I, I won't mission. bother you. Do your I thing. I have a mission here to conquer. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Big blow. What you for that? You to Yes, yes, I love that. Hey, Good. 
good. Man to man. It's good. Come, 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 come. Well, sir. How are you? Bye, sir. Very well, very well, very well. I like what you did there. Thank you, sir. Don't mind that stupid boy. Mm. Any day, you can't pass. Now, so you go to me, this day. Every day by day, sir. Mm. Mm. You did a very good job. Okay? Thank you, sir. Very, very good job. Um, How much is your money? It's any amount, sir. Any amount, sir. Okay. okay. But before I give you money, who is that girl? <laughs> that girl. It's, it's not a type, sir. It's, it's not a type, sir. Mm. It's not a type, sir. Okay. No problem. Uh, take this, eh? Thank you, eh? You did a very, very good job today, eh? Thank Keep you, it up, eh? Thank you, sir. Thank okay. you, sir. That's a good you, one. Eh? That's Later, a good eh? one. That's a good one. Okay. I hate it when some men intimidate me. Do you want me to help her now? See, she strongly. My friends, look at that girl very, very well. Hmm? Mm. I want you to get me every detailed information about her. Herself, her family, where she comes from. Okay? Yes, my friends. Are you sure? I will do. Look at her very, very well. Yes, I don't want you to make mistakes. No, I'm so much sure that I'm face very well. Her innocence breaks me. I have never been so moved by a woman like that. I don't know what's happening to me, but all I do know that there is a magnetic chemistry that has pulled her to me and is still pulling her to me. She must be the one. My spirit tells me, so, but I need to test her. I need to test her to be fully sure she's the one. Where is that driver? Where is that driver that I told to get every information I need about that girl? I've come to see the girl and she's nothing but a pop without no class. Shh, 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 shh. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Why do you want to shout for that to hear what I said? What if I did not tell you? Now you've had and you've confirmed from yourself and you want to blow everything out of proportion. What's wrong with you? So hmm? I should keep quiet. You would. I'm going to test that. That is where you go in. No way! I don't want to be part of it. Count me out. See, you're ready in. When the director calls for action, you need to be ready. Okay? You know I helped you before. It's your turn to help me back. It's your turn to actually reciprocate. Do I need to remember you? All right. What role do you want me to play in this? Now you're talking. When the time comes, what role do you want to play? I want to know. Daddy, you heard our conversation. Fred. What role will you give to Daddy in this imaginary movie of yours? See, Dad, I, have, I will have to build a role for you. But for my sister, I've already given her one. And I need to drench her into the heart so she can do it properly, okay? Dad, if you don't mind, just excuse us. That was heartbreaking. My God, I almost fainted. I thought you knew what we were talking about. <sighs> Thank you so much for everything, sis. You're welcome. Thank I'm you. still curious. What role do you want me to play in this? Get what into here, and then come out and ask me which imaginary role you will never play. No, now, no. All right, remember I once told you that you are my project, but you refused. Now I want you to say it, okay. but otherwise I will not help you. Okay, madam. Yes, I am your project. Yes. Louder, louder. Say I it louder. I am your project, yes. Please, help me. 
sis. Help me, eh? Help Is that all right? All right. I will help you. Okay. So, so when do we start? <laughs> now you're talking. Eh? Come, let me give you the breakdown. Mm. Come, 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 come. <laughs> Fine girl, how are you? I'm fine, sir. I'm going to Davidson Street. Ah, Davidson Street? I know there now. <laughs> how much? Now, 100 naira for fine girl like you. <laughs> okay. Uh, enter, we'll go, eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> What's happening now? I don't carry you around the whole place. You know the rich way you go. Not be Davidson Street, you say you go. But we've not gotten to Davidson Street. <laughs> Wait, oh. Now, chatter you chatter me, I've been a uh, uh, drop. You say, my car, you go there. See, madam, eh? I know they go again. I know they go again. Not be chatter you chatter me now. Nah. You've not gotten to my home address. Your it home address. It's not fair. It's not fair. Your home address, I didn't walk as since from street to street. Madam, not be chatter you chatter me. Oh. I will not pay you unless you take me to my destination. You say? You not gonna pay me my money? <laughs> you won't die. <laughs> I didn't tell you, you won't die. Give me my money, you know, Chris? Because of 100 naira, why I charge you? I didn't even want to finish the whole of my phone. Now you buy a cake for me. Take a bag. Take a bag. Let me take my money. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come It's not fair. No, it's not fair. You go yellow or blue. Albino. Yeah, yeah. Well, the cost of 100 naira, I carry me around the whole, the, 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 the whole, the whole uh, 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 community.
you looking for this? <laughs> Do you have a family? Scooby, 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 Scooby. Do you have anyone, a wife, kids, maybe friends that I can reach out to? What is he saying? Are you hungry? I have. And the way he looks at that ring, it means he has a family. Mm. But how do I reach any mm. one of them? And he's not even saying anything to me. Mm. I'm so sorry. I have to go now. My mom must be waiting mm. for me. Look at how I was acting the madness. Eh? Hey! I was just busy calling names, Mary Gray. Just busy calling names. And you know what? The amazing thing that she bought everything I did. Wow. Oh, yes. Man, I was mentioning names, Mary Gray, Loco I was just hey. Is that serious? Yes. Hey. I was even I called Okokomiko. There's one I even remember Scooby Scooby. Hey. What is Scooby? Well, now I know you have gone mad. Oh, see this one. <laughs> you don't know anything. What is it? Fred. Sorry. My instinct tells me she's the one. Sis, you need to look at how she nurtured me. She gave me her snacks. She bought things for me. She ensured that I was okay. She treated me like like her home, like her best friend. She was not even scared that I could injure her. Are you sure she's the one you need? Yes, I'm very sure. Daughters love and care. And you know, the most fascinating thing is that I lost mom's pure gold. What? Guess what? She brought it straight back to me. Yes. If it, if it was one of those girls, they would have sold it. That would have been history. Wow. But she put it straight back to me. Sis, I don't think that has any coincidence. I think she's meant for me. Hmm. Well, I've never heard you talk about a woman like this before. But Fred, are you really sure? I'm very sure. I am very, very, very sure. But you know what? Keep testing her. Yes, I 
will keep testing her. Okay. That's all right. So, have you had lunch? No, I need to strategize. There's so many things I need to do to ensure that this plan works well. All right, fine. Do your thing. I have found my love for my heart's desire. I may seem to right there, but I don't I have found my love. My friend, you are still here. How are you doing? Do you want to talk to me of how I can locate your family or maybe your wife? <sighs> um, here, I have some food and water. I'll be on my way to work. I'll see you when I get back. Maybe by then you can say something to me. I have found my love for my heart's desire. I may seem to right there, but I can't tell you. I have found my love for my heart's desire. I may seem to right there, but I can't tell you. This one that you're pacing around like we have COVID part 15 coming soon. What is wrong, sis? If the wrong move is made, it will be dangerous for you, this family, and the entire kingdom. So the COVID-15 that you've mentioned will be a joke to this. <laughs> Sweet sarcasm. Sis, spell it out. What is it? I'm suspecting her. That girl, she's a gold digger. <laughs> See, Fred, don't allow what she did for you yesterday to weaken you. Wake up! I'm a woman. I know when women play games in every little way to get the big fat prize. Hello? Hello? Just put a break on that your melodramatic life. Go straight to the point, please. And stop painting pictures in the dark. I'm sure that girl knows you are a prince. That's why she's playing this con game of care. And you thought she cares about you. I think that girl is a gold digger. How dare you call her a gold digger? Is it because I told you everything? What the hell is wrong with you? Look at you, a woman, calling your fellow woman a gold digger. If she is a gold digger, you are an apex gold digger. How dare you, Fred? How dare you talk to me How like that? How dare you talk back at me? What the hell is wrong with you? That How dare you judge a woman that you don't know? I said we should work as a team, and now you're calling her names. You don't even know her. See, I've helped you before. Remember, I helped you in London. It is your time to retribute that help. You cannot sit on my nose and stay balanced. Be warned. Be warned! Don't worry. I can see it's a sin for me to care about you. You can keep it. It's too soon for me to step up. Excuse me, brother. You are not done talking. I'm done talking to you. What the, I, are you going to walk out of the brief? We're not done talking yet. Can you stop so we talk about this? Must I eat a gong for you to know that I am done talking to you? Excuse me, young lady. We are not done unless I, the prince of this kingdom, says we are done. I am done talking to you, friend. Excuse you. Excuse you, what? Father, good day. Oh, no. Good day. Aha, uh -huh. princess. Good day, sir. Good day, prince. 
Fred and I are still doing our movie acting routine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we'll be out of your way soon so you can have your peaceful moment. I'm very sure your people will be looking for you. But you've refused to say something reasonable that will enable me to locate your family or maybe even your wife. You're not saying anything. Okay, I think I need to involve the police. No, 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 Okay, okay, so no, 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 okay, it's okay, it's okay, I won't. Calm down. No. It's okay, it's fine. Why is he so scared of the police? Or is there something the police must have done to him? No. Is that person that dropped him that day police? I, I don't understand. I'm confused. I am going to look for your family members. I really have to. I really do. But how? I'm very sure they'll be so worried, just like the way I am. Dolly. Father. Do you know that there is nothing in this world you and your brother can hide from me? Me, your father. Yes, you and your brother are hiding something from me. And I assure you, I will find out. I am shocked at your statement. You know, if there's anything, you'll be the first to know. I can't hide anything from you, Father. It will shock you when I find out what it is you're hiding. And I hope by that time, you won't have to turn back, cringing back to me to apologize that you have lied. I assure you, there won't be anything to apologize for. Darling. Father. I want you to know that you're coming back to Nigeria again has a mission. And you have a purpose. That mission must be accomplished. Father, I... Save your breath, young lady. Or should I say, actress. Yes. You are the actress and your brother is the actor. People are busy writing and cancelling skits and scripts. By the way, where is that your brother? Father, he... I know. I know. He's going to write more scripts and more skits, is it not? Mm. 
And find someone that knows your family. Mm, 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 Maybe mm. your wife, your children, mm. anybody at all. Mm -hmm. Oh God, please help me to find someone that knows him so that he can go back to his family and be happy. And what about that lady that dropped him off? I, I, I couldn't get a glimpse of her and I don't even know what she looks like. arranged for you to marry Rose's daughter. Marriage for whom? I beg your pardon, Dad. What kind of stupid question is that? Talking about what you should do, you are talking rubbish. You are going to marry Rose's daughter. Yeah. 
ayasa na ayasa. Ana chikota ona basa. You need a direction. And that's what I'm trying to do now. I need to redirect focus. Unoru's daughter is ready. Father, Father, I'd rather die. I'd rather commit suicide than marry Unoru's daughter. I'd rather die than make you choose a wife I will spend the rest of my life with. That I do not love Unoru's daughter. I don't know her. I will not marry her. I will not even see her. That, that's fine now. This case today is settled. You will not commit suicide. You are the son of a king. The first son of a king. Suicide is out of the The king has said you will do something. And as the son of the king, you have to do it. As you do it. If you do not do it, something will happen to you. Father, Father, please allow me to choose a woman that I will spend the rest of my life with. A queen for that matter, a future queen, Dad. I promise you, I will get a desired woman for this kingdom and I will present her to you. Dad, please just give me time. I do not care who you present, how you present her, when you present her. All I care is it must be now. No whose daughter is ready. Go and get her. Get her. For it. I'm what is sorry. it? I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. What exactly are you sorry for? Oh, somebody wants to relieve me of the pressure that they're putting on me. Let me hear. I'm listening. I'm sorry for calling her a gold digger. Is that all? Is that what this was all about? I'm truly sorry. Fred, I'm truly sorry. I just don't want anyone to take advantage of you because I know what heartbreaks can do to you. See, I want to be her friend. But I have to know if she truly cares about you. There are secrets that girls can only reveal to their fellow women than male friends. So please, forgive me. Now you are acting like a team player. Thank you. What is happening between you and me? Can you imagine that? Dad wants to force a new daughter on me! What? See, he would have to quench hellfire over my head for that to happen. I swear it would never happen! It's okay. As your co team player, we just have to plan. Come on. Come on. So tell me, what, what is the plan? Talk to me. You see, I appreciate the fact that you're reasoning with me. I'm looking for Gideon Street. Oh, Gideon Street? Yes. It's not far from here. What you have to do now is to take streets. Okay. Then by the left. Oh, thank you very much. Do I need to take a ride from here? No, no, no. That's a total waste of money. Eh. Eh. You know what? I'm eh? even going towards the direction. We can go together. Oh, thank God. Please show me the way. Let's go, please. That's the street, okay? And I'll take that way. This street? Yes. Oh, 
Thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? My name is Ruth. Mary. So Ruth, I really like you. Can I be your friend? I don't mind. <sighs> Thank you. Do you mind if I have your number? Sure. Ah, oh, all right. Thank you. All right, see you. Bye. My friend. My friend, where are you? Oh, here you are. <laughs> I met a friend today. And you know I don't have friends aside you and my mom ever since my dad passed on. And guess what? She's so cool and she's such a nice person. I can't wait to bring her here so all of us can sit just and have fun together. <laughs> told me what that means. I mean, this. Oh, I forgot you've not spoken to me ever since the day we met. But I believe one day we'll talk to each other. It's so sad talking to somebody and the person doesn't talk back. How can I know you? How can I know your pains? How? So, the mystery show. You have been hiding from me all along. You actor. You actress. But a girl! An ordinary girl! A pauper! A girl without any class. That's what you've been hiding from me. Now tell me. How can that girl help move this kingdom to the next level? How? I told you I will find out. Remember, I said, there is nothing, absolutely nothing you can hide from me. I said it. Fred, so it's because of this low class that you were ranting the other day. I'm ashamed of you. Tell me, is that girl better than the lowest daughter? Is she? Of course not. She's not any better than the lowest daughter. Don't shut up. You are an actor, you are an actress, you are acting movies. I am acting reality. The throne, the kingdom, that is the reality. Daddy, there, there's something you must understand. I thought you said there is never a time you are going to apologize. Do you want to apologize now? Daddy! Now oh, shut up. Let me finish. Girl, I had a deal with you. I had a deal that you will make your brother get a wife in a jet time. What do I get? What do I get from you? What? Movie acting, 
killings and lies. That's all I get. I am pissed off. And now listen. Do the need. Do the need for because my patience is one. I prayed to God last night to send us somebody that can help us locate your family so you can reunite with your family and be happy again. And guess what? He answered me in my dreams. He told me that help is coming. Oh my God, you smiled. I can't believe this. You smiled. First time you're smiling at me. And it's so beautiful. This is a sign that God has answered our prayers. Yes, then we'll be happy again. I'm just thinking about what your, what your family will be going through. They will be so devastated. Just as the way we are right now. There'll be so much pain and agony. I pray God sends us a helper. I pray he does. You'll be fine. So disappointed. So disappointed with these children of mine. These kids lie to me. They scheme, scheme right, scheme left. Like actors. They forget that I am the the father of actors. They, 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 they forget. They forget that I, 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 I am the director. Yes, director of actors. And I know every move they make in that drama. My son. Woman says he wants to marry. I went to her house. Yes, I had to. Oh no, who I had to. Guess what I found? The girl in question is a, is a confirmed pauper. Wretched. A girl without a class. That's who my son is going after. Miguel, I understand how you feel. But you don't need to get yourself worked up. Children will always be children. As for the girl that is a pauper, she can be trained to be a queen. Who's going to train her? Who has the time to train? Listen, Unu, if if you're you if you're a pauper, if 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 you are wretched, you remain in that class. 
nobody has time to train anybody. Look at your, your daughter. See your daughter. Does she need anybody to train her? She is tailor-made. That girl is cut out to, to blend seamlessly into, into queenship. Did I train her? Did I have to train her? Look at see, see her poise. Look in the water. Never water. I saw all these things. That's why I told my son, go and marry Lou's child. Marry her daughter. Marry her. Ah. Iwe, I must thank you for that compliment. <laughs> but gone were the days when parents chose partners for their young stars. If anything happens to that marriage, they will blame you for everything. And it is not good for this kingdom. Iwe, please, relax yourself. I trust that your son will make us proud with the right wife by his side. What he what's he waiting for? He will. Who no. I trust he has to be fast about it. I told you not to tell anyone, so you won't try to tell the king. After my instructions, eh? Jeez. What is wrong with you? Now you hear chilling crocodile tears. Now that the cat has been let out of the bag, you're here crying and making me feel sorry for you. Are you mad? Brother, you don't have to blame him. You, you know our father. When he wants something from you, you have no choice but to give him what he wants. Sunday. Yes, my priest. Get up and get out of here. Get out of here, I'll call you later. Thank you, my priest. So, brother, will there be an adjustment in our plans? No. Not that he knows the plans still remain the same. <sighs> Ruth. You talked about a friend of yours the last time we met and you were in pain but you refused to continue the discussion about him. Look, I want you to know that you can have confidence in me as a friend. Feel free to tell me anything. What is bothering you? Okay, if you say so. I have a friend. Who is in so much pain. I can feel it. It's just that he lacks accommodation, food, and care. I really want to talk to my mother about it, but I don't know how, how she's going to take it. I'm, I'm so scared of her response. Hmm. Is he a good person? Yes, he is. It's just that... A male friend? Yes. Is anything wrong with it? No, no. I think you need to seek your mother's compassionate side before you tell her about your friend's sorry state. So you're suggesting I tell her? Of course. You have to tell her. To help your friend. Okay? Don't worry. I'm here for you, okay? Come here. It's okay. I'm here for you, okay? It's okay. I was so happy today. <clears throat> After I spoke with my new friend, considering you coming over to stay with my mom and I, so you can have a home to stay. 
cups and food, love and care. I just pray for the day you will get yourself so that you can tell us what happened to you. Tell us about your family, if you have a wife or maybe children. It hurts me so well knowing that you can't even speak to me. How do I really know your pain? How do I know what you're passing through? I have so many questions to ask you. But you've never spoken to me since day one. But I know one day you will speak to me. I wonder what kept you in this condition. I really don't know. I don't know. This is the most important question I would want to ask you, and I need an answer. What does this mean? What? What is wrong with you? Ruth, you want me to leave you to bring a mad person into this house? What do you think this mad person will do to us when we're sleeping? Is that what you want? Mama. But you are paying so much attention as if you really wanted to help. Uh -huh. From the way you're sounding now, it means you don't even care of whatever thing that happens to him. What do you want, Chelo? It's him. Hey, hey. Ruth. So you now go about dating mad men? Ndiala. Umwok and Diala. Kagena fana hai. So you are not seeing all these responsible people? Are those who okay? You are not seeing them? Mama, my friend is not mad. <laughs> He's only behaving the same way Papa behaved when they refused to pay him his pension money before he died. Okay, this person is mad. Only an apuala. Huh? Is your husband mad? Dear, 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 Ruth, I'm beginning to play with you too much in this house. I'm not just a little bit of a why would you ask me such a stupid question? God forbid, my late husband was not mad. Hey, then my friend is not mad as well. He's so much, he's just so much in pain. Oh. Now you have to put him into consideration. There are one it's not fair. Your friend is not mad as well. I have to put him into consideration. <laughs> Any kind of defense you have in it about this, your friend? Obasarom. Obasarom. If you like, Take sides with him from now till tomorrow is none of my business. As long as that gate is concerned. If I see that your mad friend in this house, I will throw both of you outside this first. Tell this your mad friend to go and stay in the dustbin. That's where mad people are. They can say for ball on a galley. If I see any mad man in this house, what could you know? And I will allow him to come to this. Mama, I see any any you put in the mule here. Mama, dear, I'm not. Me, you put on us What do you know that is good? Can't give me the ma. I don't know, Mama. What are you doing here, Nona? She's in love. She's in love at the first sight. She's in love. She's in love at the first sight. She's in love with a bad man. She's in love. She's in love. How I wish she knows you're a good person. Just as I've known you for some time now. But she has had similar experience with her late husband, my dad. I don't know why she won't trust you. Your condition reminds me of my dad. 
he was in so much pain. He was so much in pain, just as you are, and we didn't fully understand him until he died. Until he passed away and left this weak head. But I will never allow such to happen to you. It's a promise. I would never. I will care for you. I will be there for you until you unite with your family and be happy again. It's a promise. I noticed we don't even talk to each other again. In fact, you've started keeping malice with me. But my friend Chewa, eh? If you like, carry your face up. Bring it down. Go this way, go the other way. Omar Sarum. My stand, I still maintain it. I will not sit in this house and allow you bring any madman into this house. And then me and me. Also, bully you to for Sam. Oh, mama. Why are you bringing up this topic again? You said you don't want him in this house. I have accepted. Eh? I've rested my case, so. I see. Ruth, you have not rested your case anything. I'm a moneyable. If you arrested your case, why have you stopped talking to your mother? If you put it too full, even to greet me in the morning or not, Figaro. Mama, I don't want to talk now. Is it by force? I told me who. Eh? I have a lot on this head. A lot is going on on my mind. Hey, woo. I see a lot. Madame Elot, a lot is going on in your mind. What is that thing that is going on in your mind that you cannot discuss with your mother? What is that thing? Eh? How can we be in the same house and we can't even gist? Because of that madman. Mama, Am I holding you? I don't even understand you. Anyway. Uh, there are chores for you to do in the house. Let me go to Mama and Jesus and collect my money. Make sure you finish washing the place and washing the clothes before I'm not I'm going to get there and I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Bro, this one you are seated alone. I hope Judgment Day is not on our doorstep. <sighs> I feel for her. I feel for her. I'm telling you. She's in pain, sis. I'm not used to all these outbreaks. I'm not used to it anymore. You, you remember what happened in Canada? If not for God's intervention and you, something horrible would have happened to me. See, Fred, all women cannot be the same. I feel for her too. Why can't you reveal yourself? No, no, so no, 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 I can't. I can't, please. This process must complete its full course. I must see a true person. Okay? If you could excuse me, please, just in some time to myself. I just wanna be sure, be sure, be sure, be sure. He must really like her. I have never seen Fred in this kind of mood before. I just wanna be
Father, please forgive this stupid son of yours that was ranting the other day and stubbornly wants to pick a wife for himself. I'm sorry, Father. I don't trust women after my outbreak in Canada. I almost committed suicide due to the aftermath of what happened. Dolly, my sister, helped me through this period. It was a traumatic experience for me, Dad. Dad, this said lady is a wonderful person. I mean, she took care of me and bestowed so much love on me when I was the presumed madman. She wasn't even scared that I hurt her. That now that you know that I have someone that I want to marry, just give me a little time to see if she's fit as a future queen, as my wife. I beg of you that. I know I've hurt you, I know I've been, I know I've acted stupidly, but I ask for your forgiveness, Father. Right? Please forgive me. You get up first. Do you ever think of our situation in this house? Does it really bother you what we're going through? Since your father died, we have been struggling to survive in this house with little or no help. And you want me to help someone when you and I know that we're already drowning in pain? And then me and me. Listen, I know you have a good heart, just like your father. I know that. It's... When you're already deep in pain, how can you help someone? It leads you back for you want to share the food you have. We don't even know where he came from. We don't even know his family members. So we should be careful how we tread. We should be careful how we step into his issue. A madman can So the kind of help we should give to him, we have to be very careful. We can't just help anybody we don't know. Eh? I don't understand it too. Is it when you're hungry, start sharing your food? Who does that? I'm not going to kiss your But we have to be very careful. Madman, can you pop up on yala? Can you pop here? We just start helping anybody. And you're going to kill me. I'm not going to eat you. I don't have one go. She's in love. She's in love at the first sight. Oh, she's in love, she's in love at the first sight. I'm out of here. Harry! What is the matter? What rubbish is this? You never told me that your friend is a madman. This guy might bite you thinking you are a lump of meat. This is first degree madness. Are you insane? How dare you speak ill of my friend without even putting your thoughts in the right direction? Insane? You are the one that needs to put your sanity in check. Rather than making friends with a madman. Are you not scared of what he might do to you? This man here, he's not safe to himself not to talk of us. I'm out of here. Mary! You know what? Go and never come back. Since you don't like my friend, then our friendship is over! Whatever. Who cares? I'm so sorry for what happened over there. Mary is not like that. I don't know what came over her today. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Why is she calling me now? Eh? After insulting my friend and she's fine. Oh god. Please, I don't have your time. Like yeah? hmm. He's my best friend. When you're done with 
keep quiet. Until your phone is ringing. You are not picking. Who's calling you? Mama. It's not every call that I answer. And Mama, I know there's something they call privacy. So please don't pry into me while I don't pry into yours. What can never phone you pick? You say my privacy. What do you know about privacy? Never phone you pick here. Mama, give me my phone. Ah, never pick a mumbo pick on Look at, can you imagine? You don't want to pick your call. Mama, I'm going to pick your call. Hey, Jinky. Only God knows what you're hiding. Let me go and see my man Kechi. If you like, stay here. Don't pick your call. One day I will know that thing that you're hiding. Oh, 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 I was shocked when my son came to me and said uh, I should let him get a woman, a girl of his choice. He said he nearly committed suicide mm. in Canada over a heartbreak from the girl that disappointed him. It will now I see why he is insisting strongly on making his own choice. I think we should allow him choose his wife himself so that we do not lose our future king. I just pray this one goes well. So we do not have situation of mayday mayday on our hand no yes maybe we should also have your daughter on standby but how will my daughter save the mayday mayday situation if he goes off to the girl he, he chooses and it does not work out his plan does not work out. Huh? We should have something to fall back on. That's where your daughter comes in. Or you want him to commit suicide? Of course, if you knew that, I wouldn't want that. Is that right? I will keep my daughter on standby. But I will not tell her so that she does not have the hopes that she will marry the prince. That's okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for your understanding. Mary has been calling that I should forgive her over what she said to you. But you know, what she said to you was very wrong. I shouldn't have used such words by calling you a lunatic. That's a very hurtful word to say to somebody. So what do you think? Should we forgive her? Is that a yes? You know, I've always known you to be a good person. But I won't let her get off the hook so she won't repeat it next time. So, should we forgive her? I would take that for a yes. <laughs> Just wanna be sure, be sure, be sure, be sure. Just wanna be sure. Ruth, what? What is it? 
Ruth. What? What? How could you? How could you utter such bitter words to a fellow human being like you? Why? That was so cold-hearted of you. Maybe because you've never experienced pain. Because if you have, you will understand the kind of pain he's going through. Ruth, I am truly sorry. Please forgive me. I finally realized that I made a mistake in judging him in a wrong and harsh way. Please, Ruth, forgive me so that I can help him like you've been helping him since. Please, I should give you a second chance. A second chance so you could come back and insult him just like you did before. Eh? No way! May you hear me? No way. It's not gonna happen. Ah, Ruth. Ruth, be conu. Because, no, please, I'm sorry. I really want to help. And give me the chance to beg for his forgiveness. For I've been troubled. Please, please, my friend, please. Are you really sure you are genuinely sorry that you want to help him? It's just that I don't want what happened the last time to repeat itself. You know, he's the only person I've got aside my mom. What about me? Am I not your friend? Hmm? Okay, and you? Before your madness came. Ah, come on. I'm still your friend now. Wait for me. Wait for me. Father, Ruth nearly beat me up for insulting my brother. She's really crazy. Please, bro, tell us, what did you use on her that is making her go gaga? How do you mean? He should tell us. What kind of voodoo did you use on that girl that made her crazy and ready to kill herself? I never used voodoo on anyone. I never used it on any girl I've come across. You were there when this all started. Father, you need to call your daughter to order. Call her. She's pulling my legs too much. What's all this? Well, you know your sister? She likes to pull your legs. She likes to toy with you. Hmm? Careful. All I'm saying is uh, let something positive come out of all this. I am so confident that this will yield good results. Father, I know this because I'm a friend of hers. She really loves him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Your melodramatic words that you keep pushing out this is, we're not talking about love here we're talking about care and we're working on it okay father for the second time you need to call her to order a choice of words is, is messing up what's wrong with you careful this jokes are getting too expensive they are the same thing yes love care care love you can't have one without the other they are mutually exclusive. Care breeds love. Hmm? Ah, Fred. You need to make this one work out for yourself, for the family and the kingdom. She's in love at the first sight. 
she's in love, she's in love at the first sight. Why is your face like this? Are you not going to work today? Mama, I'm so confused. I went to see my friend last night. And this morning as well, but I couldn't find him. I'm so worried if something might have happened to him. What if something had happened to you? Hmm? You went out in the night to look for your friend. Are you okay? Are Ma you? Mama, I'm fine. You should be talking about my missing friend, not, not the way you're sounding right now. Or don't you feel for him? I feel for you. I am feeling for my only daughter, not your friend. I'm not Amonia, your friend, Debo. If I say anything wrong now, mm -mm, you start keeping malice with me. Because that's one thing you're good at. I mean, you should have known the kind of person your friend is. You might go down They disappear and appear. Oh, na basi. Mama, listen, I know where you're driving at. But my friend is not mad. I will say it again. He's not mad. All I know is that everything will be alright. Eh? You know these people sometimes... <laughs> you may even go back now and find him in his home. They don't stay one place. This moment they are in Anambra. The next minute they are in Asaba. For now, Puyale. I, I know them, but I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. You may even go there and find him there. So, Biko, carry your bag. Go to work. Oh, he will be alright. Everything will be fine. You know, go. Are you sure? Push off a a moaz bunneg, I'm sure. I am. Bula bagi jebole, oh, you know what? You may even come back now. Before you come back, you see him there. You know they don't stay in one place. Come back and be a moaz cause cause here, man. They are never at a place. One minute they are in our nature. The next minute they are in three three. Wake up, wake up, wake up! You're late to the madhouse! Get up! Huh? You're late! What? Say! Go Sunday, go Sunday! Sunday! Oh, hurry, let's go! Sunday, Sunday! Oh, hurry! Sunday! Sunday! Somebody give me Sunday! Get me my coffee, get my coffee, get my coffee, get my coffee, now! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go!
this in the past. Sunday. How, how do I explain to you to root about all this luxury? Hey? He wants to blow my cover, Abi. I will deal with you when I get to that palace. I will make sure I will deal with you. I will put you in the guard room. Stupid boy. Ah, uh, can you imagine? Wait. I think he was trying to warn me about something. Yeah. I could actually feel his pains when I was treating him. Onye? Your mad friend? Mama. Oh, sorry. Ndo, Ndo. Ndo, I, I keep forgetting that you said he was just acting. Whether he's an actor, I don't know. But how is he feeling? Is he, is he getting better? Yeah, he's getting better. <sighs> but the point is that nobody knows anything about his family. Whether he's married, whether he has children, his wife, his parents, anything, nobody knows any. Or oh, has he told you anything? No, Mama. He has not said anything reasonable. Ha! Mama, I know everything will be alright. Hmm? Let's just keep our fingers crossed. Everything will be alright, okay? I hope so, too. Mm -hmm. Things will be alright. Hey Ruth, I was on my way to your house. Lucky for you, I'm out of the house. Where are you going to? I'm going to get food and medication for our friend. He got injured yesterday. Oh my god, what happened? A piece of bottle pierced his leg and the pain was so unbearable for him. Okay, I need to go see him right now to know how he's feeling. Okay, okay. Just go, I'll be right back. Alright, okay, okay. Thank I'm you going for now. being there. Alright, I'm going now. This is 
is trouble, Lord. This is trouble, big trouble. I, I need to call Fred right now. Hello? Hello, Fred. You need to start coming to the madhouse right now. What? Like right now? Like a chest. Chest now. She has got to buy food and medication for you. And she's coming to the madhouse. You need to start coming now. Oh my god. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Sunday! Sunday! Ah. Hey! Sunday! I'm a simple writer, but I don't generally be a manager. I have found my love and my heart's desire. I'm a simple writer, but I don't generally be a manager. I have found my love and my heart's desire. I'm a simple writer, but I don't generally be a manager. I have found my love and my heart's desire. I'm a simple writer, but I don't generally be a manager. Easy to get to your eyes, but you see the shots from my body. You can't find them easily at all. Money, where to be, money, you will find one. I have found my own one in a million. I'm a little. My joy is complete. Your papa, I have found my. I'm a simple writer, but I don't generally be a manager. I have found my love and my heart's desire. I'm a simple writer, but I don't generally be a manager. I have found my love and my heart's desire. I'm a simple writer, but I don't generally be a manager. I have found my love and my heart's desire. I'm a simple writer, but I don't generally be a manager. you feeling? Me, mm, I'm in pain though. I'm gonna lie. Ah, it's painful. But what do I do now? I have to manage. You understand? You did not tell me you had an injury yesterday. Oh. Mary is the one that told me today. What is wrong with you? See, I didn't want to bother you guys with the gory details. I've already been to the clinic anyway and I'm taking some after tetanus injections for it, you'll be fine. Sorry, eh? Hey, yeah, thank you. Let me check it. Don't touch me, Jerry. Ah. Is it my Is everything ah. you want to be touched? Is it my fault? Were you, were you different and serious in spinning me? Sorry. Touch. When you touch it now, will you eat it? Sorry now, sorry. Please. Leave me, don't touch me. I'm going to spinning me. Trust Mary. I will have to find out if she's taking care of my friend after she apologized. I will rush him now to shock them. to get his food and medication. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your friend is so good. <laughs> you see, I told you she's a nice person. <laughs> Mary. Yes, dear. 
Thank you for taking care of my friend. Oh dear, you're welcome. He's my friend too, and I want to be there for him. <laughs> His food, right? Yes. Okay, have this one. Mama, don't you think his people might be looking for him? Nemo, we live in a very mysterious world where you can't even define what happens to people. Your duty and mine is to be there for them, just like we were there for your father. And exactly what you're doing for your mystery friend. Who knows? His people may be looking for him. But our prayer is that God should send somebody who will bring him home. Hmm? Mary and I gave him some food and we helped him with his injury. We cleaned up his wounds. Mary knows? Yes, she knows. We are all friends now. Hmm, that's nice. But I want you girls to be careful. Sometimes doing good to some people can mean bad. It can be evil. There are bad people everywhere. You have to be careful, okay? Okay. We will. We always be careful. Okay. As well. Madam, I want to buy food. Which one you want? Big now. How much is this one? 200. Okay. This one, Uncle. Okay. Down at 300. But I'm not be 250. Money no they come out inside, man. How much is this? I yeah, only 200. Okay, I take it. Yeah, you change. This thing. Short I get you. Ask your second now. Yeah. She might she yeah. might have. Yeah. 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 She will get it. Madam, please give me my change. Oh, I don't miss market now, eh? To see that man buy my fruit now for don't pack. Hey, oh. madam, please first give me my change. You not gonna understand. Now Prince be that too. Hey, Prince. which kind of bad luck with this? Thing? Okay, maybe he might come back later and buy. But first, give me my change. How much be that your change? Now three fifty. Hey, which kind of bad luck with this one today? Yeah. Fred, I think it's high time you reveal yourself to her. Because if she had caught you today, what do you think would have happened to her feelings? That girl has passed you a lot, so reveal yourself now! What is wrong with you? As your brain start malfunctioning that it needs to be adjusted to the current time, follow the rules. Dolly, follow the rules! I won't! Maybe you don't understand that your book of rules is outdated and needs to be adjusted to the current situation of events. So Fred, or rather, Prince, adjust it. Don't follow up, this is outdated. It's my game, so it's my role. For me, it's current. May I remind you that this is my parole. This is my job. This is what I do. So don't dare me. Don't ruin it for me. Fine. Since it is your show, Mr. Showbiz, I'm out of this. I will tell her everything you today. You will not dare. I will. You will not dare. I you will. know the consequences if you sabotage me in this kind of Fred! You will do nothing! I will deal with you! I... I dare you! Let me remind you! I'm still the princess of this kingdom! Ooh. So if you do anything... Hmm? The princess and the future king! You see, I will not say this again. Go back to London! Go back to your husband's house! You're giving me so much Hey, yourself. shut up! I said shut up, both of you! What is happening here? You! What is wrong with you? Hiya! Hit! Come on! Scatter her head! What a 
am I having here? Why are both of you quarreling like fowls? Don't you know that there is a mission? We have a mission. Come on. Embrace peace. Come on. Fred. Don't you think that this your testing is getting too much? You see, because uh, it's a uh, level you play it and it backfires, and you'll be left in the lurch. Hmm? Dad, I need to first and foremost thank you for your understanding. But Dad, I need to test this lady. I need to test her so I know that I'm not making a mistake at the end. If you lose her, that I won't lose. I won't. We're in the water, we're in too deep in the water to dry. We're like in the ocean, Dad. Our chemistry is intertwined. Forget that Dolly is trying to sabotage my effort. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Dolly only cares about the girl's feelings. She cares about yours too. Now see what happened today. If the girl had caught you, tell me. What or where would you, all that melodrama go? You see, my son, I want you to know that the Ten Commandments of the Holy Book of Love says thou shalt not play with a woman's feelings. There you go again. Your sister amazed me with all these laws and I didn't know where you get them from. Never mind. You see, if you do, you will realize that the devil is a houseboy in hellfire. Houseboy in hellfire, that. So if the devil is a houseboy in hellfire, so who owns hellfire itself? The woman. That. <laughs> Do the needful so that you do not lose your future queen. Be fast with your chase. Everyone, thank you.
I brought you food. I'm coming, let me get you one. with you. So you couldn't even wait for me a little bit longer before picking the, the canned food. Lagos. Why? Lagos. It's Lagos. Lagos. I'm so sorry. It, it's all my fault. I had come earlier on. This wouldn't have happened. You see, you ain't from London. She's in love with the partner. 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 <sighs> that was close. After thinking I have narrowly escaped the first one today. I never knew another one is waiting for me. When she checked my hand, my heart tanked and my entire body system dropped. The risk I took is dangerous and it would never repeat itself again. Father Lord, thank you. How can I find these people, Mama? It's so disheartening that he now picks food from the dustbin. I mean, decayed food, Mama. It really touched my soul. Just have to be there for him. Huh? Have to be there for him. Mama, that is what I am doing. I, I really wish there's a way I can find these people. He can't go on. My prayer is that this phone will bring miraculously. At least let somebody tell us something. That 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 would be great news for us. Yes, Mama, that is the kind of miracle we need right now. I just wish my phone can just. That's it, Mama. The solution is here. What is it? Mama, I need to see Mary. I need to see Mary. I'll be right back, Mama. I beg on there, Jack. What is this thing that she's feeling? What is this solution? Hey, Chine, can you have for my people? Oh my goodness, Mary, thank God I found you. You look worried, I hope there's no problem. Problem or a solution? Okay, I was talking to my mom earlier today and an idea just bumped into my head. What idea? Let's use your smartphone, yes. Let's make pictures, videos of our friend and post online. Let's see if maybe his friends, his family members can find him. Alright, 
that is a nice idea. We'll take pictures and videos of him today, but I don't have data now. When I do tomorrow, I'll post it. Mary, I'm worried. He now eats, okay, listen, he now eats decayed food. What? Yes! Oh, ah, Ruth! All right, fine. Let us do it now. Let's go. Okay, let's go. What did you just say? Fred. Fred, come here fast. Dad. Dad. Fred. What am I hearing? That Ruth is pleading to have your pictures and videos online as a missing person. What will my enemies say? Mock at me? Mock at my family? Dad, I have everything under control. There's no need to panic. Ah! No need to panic. When this your testing of Ruth is bringing shame, bringing insults to my family. See, I shouldn't panic. Fred, do you know that when bad news gets online, it spreads like wildfire? And right now, I'm in a state of panic. I'm in a state of emergency. Dad, I said I have everything under control. Remember, we had a deal. I have handled this issue with kids' gloves. Handled this issue too gently. Fred, bring home our future queen now or go to Ruth and tell her that you're nothing but a big fraud. Father, you will not do such. You will not do such, Dad. Father, I know you are angry. You have every right to be angry. But please, Father, do not pay attention to Dolly. She's just a bitter, disgruntled lady. Dad, I love Ruth. And I want to marry her. You can send her no wood to go and seek a hand in marriage on my behalf. But please, Father, just allow me to keep testing her, please. Fred, what's this testing all about? Dad, I need it. And I need some other plans as well. I need you to help me with some other plans as well, Dad. Please. Please, Dad. Mm. All right, um, I'm all ears. Sit down. Thank you, Dad. So, this orange will be so sweet. Have you seen it? Have you seen what I'm saying? Hey, hey. I can't wait to finish all of them. Mama. Eh? This one you're so smiling and happy. Mm. Hope there is no problem. Hope all is well. <sighs> no. All is well. I have good news for you. Eh? Good news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One chief like that came here in the morning. Came to ask for your hand in marriage on behalf of his son that is based in London. Yes. Since morning, eh? Hmm. I don't know some. Not some. Ne lecha. Yeah, eh? I brought some good So happy. You mean his son did not come along with him? Mba. Came with his driver. Hmm. Does the chief know me? Said he has seen you twice. But anyway, don't worry. Said he'll be coming back tomorrow to come and talk to you. Mama, bam, bam, bam. Uh -uh. I'm not interested in all those kind of distant marriage. That the the son will be will be abroad and, and the wife will be somewhere else. No, now. Mama, be cool. Nem. 
When we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. I thought we were supposed to be happy that somebody from London, do you know where London is? Somebody who is based in London is coming to ask for your hand in marriage. This is what is called overseas based. Village based, my home base, my home can kefa. Overseas based, yeah, eh? Ababo Bodo Ibo. Remember London Day? Mama, eh? Tell the man hmm? to ask his son to come back here so that we can both stay together or he will take me along with him. Mm. But if he's this one that he will be somewhere else, I, Mama, I don't be interested. I don't want. So bad. And that is not what is bothering me now. Mm. Eh, hey, Mama, did Mary, did you see Mary around? Did she come by? Um, no. Is there any problem? It's just that I've been calling her number. It has been switched off. I wanted yeah. to know if she has posted the videos and pictures of our missing friend. You know now. Oh. Mm? Let us talk about this marriage. This marriage is more important than videos and pictures and internet. I'm not even on the internet. It's not marriage. Hey, hey. Mama, see, I'm not interested. I'm out of here. In case Mary comes by, please tell her to wait for me. I'm out. Hey. I'm talking about somebody coming from London to come and marry you. You know, who videos of when you play. Can you pass a quantum? You could call it. You are my air. Okay, for what dinner? Dachi. No, what is you? Dachi. Oh, can I do what? She remember. I just want to be sure. My mother said someone came to ask for my hand in marriage. That the sun leaves abroad. And I'm not happy about it. Because Mary has not given me feedback. If only she has posted your information online. I believe by now your family or friends might find a way to locate you. And you'll be happy. And I'll be happy as well. I can't even leave you to get married because I know there's no one to care for you. You're so funny. <laughs> and I'll miss you. I'm very optimistic that your people will find you very soon. Mm. No, it's yours. No, you can have it. It's yours. Mm -mm, no, it's yours, okay? Thank you for wiping my tears. It really hurts me to see him in this condition. I wish I can help this situation right now. I don't even know the meaning of this. You normally cross my face. But I know someday you will tell me what it means. I went to your house and your mother told me you went out. But I knew you would be here. As for the particulars and the information, I've provided it online. Has there been any response since then? No. It's social media. So it will take time for people to grab the information after sharing it because there were some distractions online. Is that does that does it mean it's positive? Positive, not yet. But great news. Because after sharing it online, People get to see it and it spread like wildfire and the whole world will get to know. The whole world? Yes, of course, the whole world. Then that's it. That's great news. <laughs> I, I like know. the sound of that. I know, but it will take a couple of days. Okay? Okay. Where is he? 
he's inside, he's sleeping uh -huh. after eating and his comic behavior, you know. So, <laughs> okay. um, if you'll excuse me, I want to ease myself. Okay. I'll be right back. That's all right. Your mother is so happy today. Hmm. You're asking me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. My sister, there's one chief that came here. Mm -hmm. He was seeking for my hand in marriage on behalf of his son that bears abroad. Mm -hmm. Oh. She said what? Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> you know what? This is the best news that I've gotten so far today. What's your problem, Ruth? Why are you not happy? Here. Oh. What is it? Mm. Help me to tell her that this person that is coming to marry her is London based, not home based. Obodo Ibo with huge money, Konya Abuabia. I don't know why your friend is not happy. She doesn't even care. Eh? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I beg you. Help me talk some sense in Jones. He, he took some sense into her and meanwhile I'll be going to the market you now to buy some things so that I can entertain them very well tomorrow. You're coming very early. Don't worry mama, I will be here very early tomorrow. Okay. Who wants to miss sugar in her mouth? This marriage must hold. Marriage is hold you Oh, you see Ghana? Nya, oh, I'm going to go to Madam. Hope what is going on in your mind is not how you are going to marry that your so-called friend. Because as long as I live, man no no man, so that that your funny friend, mama rebosi, will come and marry you. Then make we have Okay, me rush to the market and buy the things that I will use to entertain them tomorrow. Okay, mama. Eh? Talk some sense into I her. Will, hey, man, I'll marry. Okay, we go. Yes. What is your problem, Ruth? This opportunity is every girl's dream, and you have it in your kitchen. My dear, cook it. Cook it well, because this spice is hard to find. <laughs> are you done? Answer me. Are you done? If I marry him, who will be there to take care of our friend? You answer me. Answer me now. Who? Who will take care of him? Have you found these people yet? Eh? And you're here jubilating with my mother because she said someone that lives above. See, listen. This should be our number one priority. I mean, our friend. He should be our number one placement before any other thing. Eh, I know. That one is included. But let's talk about this marriage thing first. Oh, just like my mother. Please, can you change topic? This topic cannot be changed. It is very important. Mary, can you change topic or I will leave you here now? This marriage thing, eh? Okay, you win. Sit down. Sit down. Now, what do you want us to talk about? I'm listening. I don't know, just change the topic. Okay, fine. There's a dress I bought. Mm -hmm. But it's in my shop. My daughter, I have been here before. 
and I will go straight to the point. My son, my handsome son, will like to marry you. Unfortunately, he's not here right now. He would have been here, but he is in London right now. Welcome, sir. I have already told my mom that I would not marry somebody I have not seen. So your son should better come back and do the needful. Yes, he will come down. But he wants your consent first that you will like to marry him so that I can deliver your message. As for the distant marriage issue, here, I have his picture. I'm sorry, sir. I don't want to see any picture. He should come back because a picture does not tell the full story. Hmm. Such a handsome man. Mm. He's so cute. Please, you should say this. Please give to her. He's so handsome. Oh my god. Ruth, you, you need to see this. What is wrong with you? What kind of stupid attitude was that? You have to apologize to Chief this minute. Else you will see the other side of me. What is it? I'm, I'm so sorry, Chief. I didn't mean to. Forgive my manners. Please, if you will excuse me, someone, someone is waiting for me. Ruth! I'm sorry for all of this. I don't know what is wrong with this. I know children of nowadays. I don't, I don't know. They don't have respect. I'm so sorry on her behalf. Please. It's okay. okay. That's no problem. Can I tell you the irony of the whole thing? Okay. Your daughter is the type of lady my son loves. Really? Yes. I will come back tomorrow. Okay, sir. I believe by then she would have come back to her normal self. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. But I am still so sorry for what she did. It's okay. It's sorry. okay. I have to take my leave now. Okay, sir. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. I'm so sorry about what happened. It's okay, please. it's okay. All right, sir. <sighs> Ruth! Ruth, I have to you. What? What I, is it? I don't like that act that you display back there. And look at the way you hit the picture from my hand. Are we quarreling? Yes! We are quarreling. Mary, we are quarreling. Why will you force me to watch a picture I don't want to watch? Or has the chief bribed you? Oh, has he? Why are you and my mother like this? Why? What? I am disappointed in you! Look, we just left an important meeting. This is uncalled for! That uncalled for you mentioned right now is what is taking me back to my friend that has not eaten since morning. Oh, you want him to eat from the dustbin just like the last time? Oh my god, I knew it! There is something going on between you and that crazy! Oh, wait, wait. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry, Ruth. I have told you so many times. He is not mad. He's not crazy. He's only going through pains. Don't you understand? I understand you. You keep making me repeating myself. Ruth, I'm sorry, okay? I'm truly sorry. I'll follow you to get the food. Then I'll be on my way. My daddy will send me back from work. Speaking of your dad, you've not introduced me to him. Um, um, Ruth, you see, my dad is not always around. But don't worry, I will soon introduce you to my dad. Okay? <laughs> okay, let's go and get the food. Alright, let's go. My friend, today was a very tough day for me. The chief came by the second time, asking me to marry his son, the one who lives in London. But I refused. And guess what happened? A little drama occurred. Don't worry. 
I won't leave your side. Mary and I have uploaded your videos and pictures online. I believe maybe your wife, your kids, anybody can see them online and come for you. So not to worry, okay? <sighs> okay, let me gist you about the drama. <laughs> the chief came, he brought out a picture. He was trying to show me the picture of his son that lives abroad. But I refused looking at it. My mother and Mary tried to force me to look at it, but I refused. In the process, I hit the picture. It fell. I was asked to apologize to the chief. I had to. Then I stormed out. Mary and I had quarrels over that. We were upset to it. <sighs> Okay, excuse me, I want to buy water. I'll be right back. What's the meaning of this? These people want to blow my cover. And why would that go against my agreement by bringing my picture? That's against our deal. And that idiotic dolly tried to show my picture to Ruth. Are these people mad? Why can they allow me run my own while they run theirs? This is trouble. I hope I'm not doomed today. If I have to, why are you people treating me like a child? What the hell is all this? Why are you acting like you run this palace? Yes, I do run this palace. I am a future king for crying out loud. Friend, you can only rant, but you can't bite. I can't bite you. Are you crazy? I, I will bite you and bite everybody in this kingdom, Ada. I am the future king. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Why do you want to blow up my cover? Why do you want to blow up my cover for Christ's sake? Friend, I'm not the architect of that picture, but I must say, I enjoyed every bit of it. Really? I wish he had taken a look at that photo. It would have been glorious. Oh, glorious indeed. See, your father once told me that hell knows no free like a woman's gun. See, but he didn't tell you who invented that woman's gun. Oh, no, please. Hey. Educate me then. It's me, myself, and I. And I will treat everybody so bad in this kingdom if you will not treat me with respect. And if you allow me to sting you, I will sting you bad. You've been daring me, Dolly. You've been daring me. I will deal with you, and I will deal with the entire kingdom. Oh, be quiet! Mind your tone with me. You're talking to the future king. And so what? Are you crazy? What's all this? Quiet! Father, he's angry because Ono took his picture to Ruth's home. Father, I thought we had an agreement on this. Oh, an agreement. An agreement. And you had to put me through all that. An agreement indeed. Anyway, you are lucky. You should be happy that she didn't see your picture. Otherwise, you would have been checkmate. And we wouldn't be talking about this here and now. Oh. See, you guys want to play, right? You play the same game, I'll play it with you as well. And for you, you want to. Hey, son. Who is playing game? What game are you talking about? The game is over. Son, I tell you, the game is over. <laughs> Come here, pretty. Father. Your brother is pained because he knows that the game is not in his favor. <laughs> Come on, after you. To be frank with you, I am not happy with you at all. Look at the way you behaved the day before yesterday. <laughs> Chief was supposed to come and visit us. And now we've not even seen him. Mama, 
Are you still bearing grudges against me over what happened day before yesterday? I don't know what you mean by bearing grudges. I've been trying to forgive and forget everything that happened. But your penance or your punishment is that you will pray, Auntie. You will pray and ask God for the grace that suitors will come to this house. That's all I want you to do. Auntie, please, let's pray. Pico. Grace for suitors to come. Ngwa. Okay. Father Lord, we thank you for making us see the light of day. Amen. Father Lord, we commit our going out and our coming in, O Lord. We say, may you come and take absolute charge in Jesus' name. Amen. Father Lord, I want to thank you for the gift of life upon my friends. Lord. Father, we pray for his guidance, we pray for his protection. Father Lord, go and be with him, O Lord. Father Lord, please make his people to locate him whichever way, online or physical. Let them find him, O oh Lord, so that he can unite with his family and be happy once again. Lord, all this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. You did what? Disappeared to Lagos. Left for Lagos just like that. Without informing any member of the family. How can he do a thing? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, it's not true. Tell me it's not true. Yes. Yes. See, he's not talking. He's not picking his call. He's not. Eh? Get out of here, the anchor. Eh? Father, what is it? It's, it's not your brother, Fred. Your brother, Fred, suddenly left for Lagos without telling anybody. Not me, not any member of the family. And he knows what this period is. This is the time of decision making. Your brother is supposed to bring his wife. Bring his wife before Igwe in cancer. And then he chooses now to simply disappear into thin air. Eh? Who told you? Who told me? That's him there. Sunday. My princess. What happened? My princess, the prince just brought his small bag and asked me to take him to the saloon. On our way to the saloon, he redirected me to the airport and, and he boarded a plane. And, mm -hmm. and he just flew away! He just left. He had everything planned. From day one, he had everything planned. Ow! Ah. Is it a curse? Is it a curse to have to have him as a son? Is it a curse to have him as as a prince, as a crown prince? Father, calm down. Don't get yourself worked up. He will soon be back. I'm already he, worked up. He will soon be back. Ah! Back when? When is he coming back? Why did he even leave in the first place? Ojelebe! Oh! What am I going to tell these people? What do I tell? What do I tell Ono? What do I tell the Igwe in cancer? What? 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 Somebody talk Father, to me! Father, calm down! Somebody talk to me! Don't tell me to calm down! I'm not coming! I'm not coming down! I cannot calm down! You don't understand! Father, calm down! He will be back! Oh, I'm just looking at dumb faces. Yes. Father. Sunday. What process? I won't talk to you right now. I don't even know where to search anymore. I've searched the entire corner of this house and, and he's nowhere to be found. I've equally asked people around and no one seems to have found him. What's all this? What am I going to do? Wait, wait. Just calm down. I'm strong, please. I should be strong. Strong when I am weak. Okay. I'm strong. 
<laughs> what might be happening to him right now? See, see, just, just, no, just take it easy. Everything will be fine. Who knows? We posted this picture online. Someone must have seen him and taken him to his family. Then you should come back and let me know. Yes. Come back. Come, come back and tell you what. By the way, what's his name? I forgot we've not spoken since the day we met. What? Okay. See, I, I, I pray he, he, he unites with his family and then come back to me. Fine. Now you're talking. You, you should pray that nothing bad happens to him. Who knows? That young man might be somewhere eating fried rice and chicken and you're here crying. Come on, everything will be fine, okay? See, don't worry. We will see him again, okay? Just calm down. Okay. We'll find him. I know you're worried. I am too. Calm down, okay? We'll see him. Are you sure? Very sure. I'm positive we'll see him. Okay. All right? Yeah. Okay, go. let me still stay and wait for him. He'll come back. Maybe he might come back. See? I know you're worried, okay? I am too. Just, just calm down. We'll see him. Let's go. Let's go. Come, come. Let's go. Come. told me that maybe his people might have seen him because of his videos and pictures that we posted online or someone that knows him might have taken him to his people but the problem is that I'm not satisfied with all that what if something has happened to him somewhere oh god please protect him wherever he is so I can see him again and for me and Mary to have rest of mind. She's so worried. Don't tell me to calm down. His people might have. Nobody has seen him. Nobody. I mean, he's in so much pain. I can feel it. This is exactly how my father died and everybody took it as a child's play. I mean, I, I can't be able to forgive myself. This is exactly how the government, my dad's friend, my family failed my dad and he died. Yes! I'm going to look for him. No, you yes. will do no such thing. I will! I'm going to look for him and if anything happens to him, I, I cannot forgive myself. I mean, I would just kill myself. No, you will not kill yourself. I will. Do you understand me? You will not kill yourself. Then you have to help me find him. I will. Yes. You just yes. yes. What?
if I had other sons, if I had other sons, perhaps the situation would be different. Father, I'm not worried for myself. I'm worried for Ruth. The poor girl has been looking for him everywhere. She's devastated. She even threatened to commit suicide. She threatened to kill herself, Father. I told her. I told her not to worry. I lied to her. That I posted his photos online. But she's still worried. Daddy, I'm scared. I'm so scared of what she might do to herself. Daddy, I'm so scared. I'm scared. I'm scared of what might happen to her. I'm so scared. <laughs> I feel for this girl too. I feel for her. I'm going to punish your brother. Punish him for the pain he has brought to this family. Punish him for all the anguish. Punish him for particularly for what he is doing to this poor, innocent girl. I am with you, Father. I am with you! I am with you, Father! He must be punished! He must be punished! So that he will understand, he will feel! He will understand how it feels to hurt someone's emotions. He... He must be punished. He must be punished. Come. Come right here, see. I want you to stay with this girl. Stay with her. Protect her. At least until the fool who calls himself your brother comes out from wherever he is hiding. All right. All right, Father. I will. I will stand by her. I will. It's all right. All right.
Lord Jesus. Father, you know my daughter and I have suffered enough. We have suffered too much. My husband died because his pension were not paid. And since then, we've been living from hand to mouth. We've been struggling to live. We've been struggling to feed. We've been struggling to make money. Daddy, now a suitable suitor, a good suitor has come. Any spirit of hindrance, any spirit of confusion, any bad spirit that is going to hinder this progress. Holy Ghost! Go see Mary. Eh? How can I be praying in the spirit? And Holy Ghost, you are supposed to shout fire. You are, you are just keeping quiet. I got up and go. Daddy Lord, change the heart of my daughter. Please, Lord. Make her feel more concerned about things that has to do with heavenly matters. I am praying and she's keeping quiet. I know she's going through a lot, Father. Please heal her in the name of Jesus. Heal her in the name of Jesus. Heal her in the name of Jesus. This young man that you've sent into this house, this suitor that you have sent to come and help us, my daughter is feeling somehow about the whole thing. Father, I pray for change of heart of my daughter in the name of Jesus. Every mother's dream is to give birth to girls and boys and watch them marry. Somebody is coming to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage, but her mind is elsewhere. Father, please do that thing that you're known for. Do that thing that you're known for. Do that thing that you're known for in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus. Amen. Father, forgive me. I traveled to clear my head. Everything was choking. And you went against our agreement. I'm not here to make excuses for everything I've done. I just want to say I'm sorry for every pain I've caused you and the entire kingdom. Forgive me, Father. Do you think anyone misses you? No one. You are constantly dodging the idea of getting married. Whereas you knew the motive of this marriage and what it means to this kingdom, especially to this family. You know what? Ruth said she will commit suicide. Yes! Because you have failed her just like people failed her dad! Sister, please, that is why I want you to solve this issue at hand now. Please, you're my sister. Help me, please. You have issues, not me. I'm done helping you. Come on. You're my sister for crying out loud. Look at, look at, the, look at the severity of issues I have at hand. Help me, please. Did you care about before you did what you did. Do you know the trauma you have caused that innocent girl? Do you even know that the mad person character you claim to be is the exact same heart our father engulfed in before he died? Now, listen to me, Fred. You know nothing! Nothing! The only thing you care about is to apologize and go back to your old self. Do not include me in your mess. I'm done helping you. Don't include me. I have found my love and my heart's desire. My missing be right there. But I can't tell again. I have found my love and my heart's desire. My missing be right there. But I can't tell again. Good day, 
Malo Jam. Yes. Sit well. Balance well. Good. Father. You know that I've tried in getting your son to get married, but he always finds a way to get off the hook. I thought with me in this he, he would settle down. <sighs> Father. You know, my plan was bring you back from London to join in the fight. Because I know how closely knit you are with your brother. Of course. Well, you have tried. You have really tried. But we've seen how it is. There is no light at the end of the tunnel. I want to go back to my husband. I really miss him, Dad. Darling. Father. You have tried. Thank you. You have tried. The bunny go, Mom. I called your husband. And I thanked him profusely. I thanked him for releasing you to join in this fight. Amara no kwa naapi nambolo aderea. Ew. Well, you have tried, my dear. The painful thing is that. Father, I just discovered that I'm pregnant! Say that again. I'm pregnant, Dad! You are I'm pregnant. pregnant! Yes. Hey! 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 My daughter is pregnant! Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Sineke, Sineke, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, Chuku, I say, Chuku, hey, Chuku ga gozige, Chuku ga gozige no toto, gozige ne hi he, and God will also bless you at night and all the days of your life. Amen. Ah! A long time. At last, this is the one good news that I've heard today. Ah, see, uh, this is the one news that is going to that has already eased the high tension that's been building up in this fathers. Ah, it has punctured the tension. Has been building up in this place. Ah, my daughter is pregnant. My daughter is pregnant. Tineka is a gay. Holy God. Why don't you, why don't you let me savour this, this, this moment, this joy, this happiness? To the fool! Ah! Father, I'm sorry. I have offended you, I've offended this family. 
and the entire day she came. I want to get married and I want to reveal myself to her and her family. Father, I sincerely ask for your forgiveness so that I could be that proud son of yours that I used to be. Please forgive me, Father. In this condition, sit down. Sit, sit close to your father. In fact, hold my hand. Huh? I'm going to be born Do you know what you are carrying? Don't, don't distress yourself. Look at it. Look at it. See what you are doing to your pregnant sister, causing her unnecessary, unnecessary wahala and tension. Ah. Pregnant? Since you're pregnant? Ah, I'm so happy for you! Oh, congratulations! Hey, shut up! Look at his mouth. Telling somebody congratulations. How can something like that emit through your mouth? Congratulations. Congratulations. You are a harbinger of bad news. Not good news. Daddy, please. Please forgive him. Thank you, Majesty. I hope, I hope you have repented fully. I, I have repented, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. <laughs> I am so happy for you! <laughs> wow, I am going to be his godparent. Oh, I pray he's a boy. I'll be a wonderful godparent to you. <laughs> thank you, bro. Thank you. Well, just sit down a little more yourself. Don't worry yourself. Have you told your husband? Yes, I have, a few minutes ago, and he was so happy. I trust him, he'll be <laughs> jetting back here. Yes! See, as of today, don't stress yourself, okay? I don't want my godson to feel uh -huh. uncomfortable inside, okay? Okay, no problem! No stress? <laughs> okay. Promise? Of course. I'm so happy for you, see? Thank you! Congratulations! Thank you, bro. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Whoa! Somewhere. Somewhere? Our fasting and praying has worked. Chief, the man that wanted his son to marry you, he's here with his son and his entire household. And they're waiting for you. Come back quick. Please. Mama, I'm coming. What is wrong with 
see you now? How long will it take you from, from where you are to come back to the house? I told you Chief and his son are here. Everybody's here, they're waiting for you. Mama, I'm coming. Don't allow my fasting and praying to go in vain. I'm coming. Okay, Bonka. Chief and his household are here. Try and come back fast. They're waiting for you. Eh? Hey. People run and come back. Huh? She's in love, she's in love at the first sight. She's in love, she's in love at the first sight. She's in love with a bad man. She's in love, she's in love. She's in love with a bad man. She's in love, she's in love. This is strange. Good day, my princess. Welcome. Yes, yes, you're I am Chief Maxwell Chinedu. I am the Ono of Odeshi Kingdom. You already know him, Fred. Fred is the only son of King Odera of Odeshi Kingdom, the heir apparent to the throne. And this is his sister, Princess Dolly Ozo Odera. Princess and her husband live in London. I think at this point I will leave both of you to explain the roles you played in this. Like you already know, I'm Princess Dolly, not Mary, like I told you. I came to help my brother here to get a befitting wife for our family and kingdom. So please, I beg you to forgive us for every pain we have caused you. My dear friend, I'm sorry for every pain I've caused you. And it saddens my heart to say that I organized everything from the keke driver to the end. My prince, my prince. Yes, yes, I just dropped her off. Yes, everything is undercover. Yes. Okay, okay. I'm waiting. Yeah, before the roundabout, yes. Okay, okay. Mm. 
Hey, Brizel. Ciao. Hey, Brito. Ciao. Vamo. Opa. Ciao. Actually, I pretended to be mad and later disappeared. But gladdens my heart to thank you for the care, the, the, the love that you showered and bestowed on me. I am genuinely seeking for a wife. A queen that would pilot the affairs of the Odishi kingdom. Though I've been through so many heartbreaks, my sister here is aware and she really consoled me through those heartbreaks. Hence the reasons why I had to put you through a test. I'm sincerely sorry. And I have to tell you that my father, the king, the great king of Odeshi Kingdom has approved of you. Approved of me? Yes. 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 Are you really sure he has approved of yes. me? Yes. Well, I don't even care if he has approved of me or not. Yes. Praise or whatever your name is. Fred, am I correct? You made mention of some ladies breaking your heart in the past, right? How did you feel? You felt so much pain, right? Yes, of course. Of course you have to. Well, that is exactly how I felt. That is exactly how I felt when my father died. And coming to think that you behaved the same way, just as he did before he died. You put me in so much pain. So much pain. I'm sorry. You're sorry? I'm sorry. And all those acts of yours was to whose detriment? Me. Of course. You had the gods. You. You had the gods to toil with my emotions. Ruth, we are sorry. sorry. And you... You lied to me that your name is Mary and not Dolly. You used me as a specimen for agony. No! Agony and pain! What have I done to deserve this? Have I done anything to offend the entire household? The entire royal household? Have I done anything wrong? No! Now let me warn you. Don't you ever! Don't you ever! In your life! Come close to me again. I'm sorry. Don't you? Please, I'm sorry. Now tell me, were you laughing all this while when I was in pain? No. Were you? No. You should have laughed. Mm -hmm. Yes. You should be laughing. <sighs> Mama, please. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't leave me alone. I'm sorry. Would you come close to me if I again? Don't you dare! I hate you!
son. Yes, Igwe. Fred. Yes, Your Majesty. Did she know that I have approved of her? Yes. But she doesn't care. Ah! How would she care? How would she care? Just tell me. How? When you have put her at the center stage of lab testing without bothering to care about her, her pains, her feelings. Remember, remember I asked you once, if that testing wasn't getting too much, you didn't answer me. You didn't answer me. You continued testing her like she's some scientist rabbit without dignity. I'm very sorry, Your Majesty. Oh no. I am the one. I am the one who is sorry for having you as my only heir apparent to the throne. But <laughs> I'm no longer, I'm no longer tight-faced. I am relaxed now. My daughter here has given, I mean, she's pregnant. She's pregnant, I tell you. And guess what? She's going to get delivered of a baby boy. A male child. Once that happens, I'm going to endorse that male boy. Father, please, don't say a thing like that. Igwe. I'm sorry. That's, uh, that's what it has come to. That's how it is. Yes, except this big fool that calls himself Prince goes to bring a Ruth and makes her the queen of this kingdom. That's when all I've said will not come to pass, Mr. Tester. So, get Ruth, bring Ruth, or lose the throne. go and talk to Ruth. She's our future queen, brother. She's our queen. Bring our queen home. You have to go and talk to her. You have to. Don't... Forgive is divine. Forged by those that have never witnessed pain. Why are you sounding like this? See, all I'm asking you to do for me is this. Forgive the prince. Forgive him. I, I know it's hard. I'm not disputing that fact, but please try. Try in your heart to forgive him. Please. So that your plan of me getting married to him will finally come to pass. Mama, have you forgotten that 
The same prince we are talking about is the same madman you said I should not marry. Hmm. Mama, I know where you're driving at. But I'm so sorry because before we get to the destination, I will bust those tires. Why don't you listen to the plight of your mother? Is it too much of a thing for me to ask from you? My mother. My mother that caused me so much pain. Mama, you made me almost want to commit suicide. And here you were asking me to listen to your plight. Mama, you tortured me because you wanted me to get married to a man based in London. Little did you know that he is the same as the madman. Mama, I will not marry him. And please, I don't want us to talk about this anymore. Mama, why will you come and look for me after all the pains he has cost me? Why? Eh? Listen, Mama, I have told you, I don't want to have anything to do with that royal household. Never! Nem, calm down, Pico. He came to know how you're faring. He knows that he has offended you. That was, that's why he's here, probably to explain things. Mama, I don't care. Don't you get it? I don't want to see him or have anything to do with him. And if he knows what is best for him, he should stay a million miles away from me. I don't want to see him. And you, what are you doing here? How are you doing, my friend? I want you to stay away from me. Don't you get it? I hate you! My queen, please calm down. Your queen? Did you just say your queen? Listen to him. Listen to him. Know what he's trying to say. Uh-uh. What is this? Uh, please. Just calm down, please. Okay? If everything will be alright, I'm sure she's angry. Okay? What is wrong with you? Mama, leave me alone! What is wrong with you? Bruce, what is wrong with you? Mama, leave me alone! Eh? Okay, Nebonka! And if you remain here, one more bit, I'll go and find that one. Oh, my please. I, I, I am so sorry. Look, I guess she overreacted. I know you are very angry at her, but just find it in your heart to forgive her, please. Oh, please, jo just try. I know it's difficult for you, but just try and forgive her. Mama, okay. there's nothing to forgive here. I mean, I'm to be blamed for everything. No, I, it's, it's all my fault. It's all my fault. I, sh I should have cautioned her. I should have at least known what she will do next. I I'm so sorry, please. It's okay, Mama. Um, I'll be here tomorrow. Maybe oh. I'm sure she'll be in a better mood tomorrow, so I'll be able to talk to her. No problem, but I am so sorry for all that happened. I am going to talk to you. In fact, I'm going to beat her up, please, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right, send me well to your people. Okay, Mama. Hey, she again. What is the meaning of this now? What is the meaning of this, Ruth? We must know that we are going to come and let how can somebody pour water on a prince? Royalty! Hi! Fool me, Bikumi. How will I explain this? I have found my love and my heart's desire. My missing the right girl. But I'm going to be a little I have found my love and my heart's desire. My missing the right girl. But I'm going to be a little you so much pains. 
truly sorry. Please. Find a place in your heart to forgive me for everything I've done. I, I know, I know, I know the pains are too, too strong, but please forgive me, please. I will not forgive you. You don't know how much pains you've caused me. You don't know how deep those pains are. You don't. Do you know those pains caught deep into my heart? Pains that brought back painful memories. And here you are asking me to forgive you. After everything I have done for you, this is what you do to pay me back. So let me tell you. I've been meaning to ask you this. What does this mean? Please forgive me. Fred, what does it mean? The cross face, what does it mean? It just means please forgive me. Because I know one day you will find out that I'm not the madman that you think I am. And you'll be very, very upset with me. So I was actually begging you before now that you should please find it in your heart to forgive me. Please, Rick, I'm begging for your forgiveness. Forgive me. Please. I miss you, Ruth. I miss those beautiful moments I spent with you. Your care, your attention. I mean, you took care of a presumed madman without the fear of being injured. Please, forgive me, please. I'm begging you, please. I forgive you. I'm so sorry for the humiliation I I caused you the other day. You don't need to. I caused it. I caused it all. I should be blamed for everything. The ring. The one you you always play with. It's my late mother's ring. It's the ring my dad used in proposing to my mom. So it's been with my family for generations. Are you okay? Not at all. What is the matter? Just very worried. You've been the light of my life, you've been everything to me. When my life was upside down, you came and you you just touched me, touched my emotions and everything was right in place. Please, stay with me. Don't leave me. Just come and bring true happiness into my life, please. From my love and my heart's desire, I miss him right now. But I can't tell you, I'm not a child. I have found my love and my heart's desire, I miss him right now. But I can't tell you, I'm not a child. I have found my love and my heart's desire, I miss him right now. But I can't tell you, I'm not a child. Fred. You are a good friend. You've been a wonderful friend to me. I like the friendship that we share together. <laughs> but I'm so sorry. I can't marry you. I can't.
just wanna be sure, be sure, be sure, be sure, I just wanna be sure, 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 be I don't want to be their victims again. Now that everything has gone sour for you, don't you think uh, you should go back to Canada to ease the tension from yourself? Dad, I won't be going back to Canada. I wouldn't have peace there. Well, I know whose daughter is still there for you. Hmm? Yeah, it is better than missing it all. In case you still want her, she's still there. Dada would go and see you know concerning his daughter. To appease you for every pain that have caused you and cost everyone in this palace. I would not be going back to Canada. That's one piece of good news I've heard from you. You make me proud. You are indeed my son. Truly my son. Take heart, dear. Take heart. Um, half is better than none. So this is how I lost it. I should be blamed for everything. me a lot of pains. He toyed with my emotions. My dad was used as, a, as an object of caricature. My dear. Not to wear. Not to wear. Not to wear. Not to wear. Do you wear? Dibye! Ah. It cost me pains also. My son cost me a lot of heartbreak. He cost me pains. He cost my family, my kingdom, everybody around me. He cost us pain. But you see, Ruth, Ruth, you must forgive my son. You must forgive him. He doesn't know what he's doing. He himself is undergoing a lot of heartbreak, too. Forgive him. Forgive him, Ruth. Forgive him. Continue to be his friend. Hmm? I will forgive him for your sake, oh. my king. Oh, mom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Ruth. Yes, my king. My son desires to get married. He desires to be married to a good woman. To a woman who is upright. To a woman who will love him. Ruth, my son desires to marry you. So, 
I am asking you, will you marry my son? I will marry him, my king. You have made my day. You have made my day. You see, the trip I took is no longer in vain. Ah! Mwam. Put a smile on that face. Go ahead. Let me see you smile. That's better. Wipe your tears. You see, when you smile, even the sky smiles. Sky is ready to rain blessings on you. The sky celebrates your smile. The sky is ready to rain a multitude of blessings on you. Good child. Because of the purity of your heart. Ah. Ah. Ruth. My son will come to you begging for forgiveness. When he comes, I want you to punish him. Punish him for all the heartbreak he caused you. Punish him for all the pains he caused me. Cost my family, my kingdom. Punish him. That's my king. Good. You see, this issue of marriage, he's been dilly dallying about it. Marry? No. Marry? No. Do you know I had to invite his sister from London, travel all the way from London to help me persuade him to get married? Iso naiva neme Iso Wipe your tears Good Good I'll do all you've just said my king Good Beautiful Beautiful Ah Chukwo kikia hizegi Ruth My king Eh I want you to keep sealed lips about this. Do not divulge any of the any of what we discussed here. Not even to your mother. Now, tell me, can you keep our secret secret? I promise, my king, I will. Ah! Then none never. I his own. I his own. I his own. Oh! Oh! Ah! Forgive. Yes. Yes. I I know you were caught in the morning. Son, Your Majesty. Ruth is here. What do you want to tell her? <laughs> Dear friend. I'm very sorry for all I've done to you. Played and toyed with your emotions. I'm genuinely sorry for everything. Please forgive me.
You've said that to me a couple of times. What do you want to say to me? The ring. Yes, the ring. The one you normally display. What does it mean? My dear friend, can you change this idiotic guy's life from toiling with people's emotions, especially you? I want you to be my wife. To help me change this great kingdom and move it to a, a, a higher level. Please, my friend. Yes. Yes, I'm married. She's not after money. I did after my girl. If I tell you, I'm not going to Thank you so much. Right I'm going to go to the I have found my love, my heart's desire. I miss you right there. I'm going to go to I have found my love, my heart's desire. I miss you right there. I'm going to go to Thank you, Majesty. Did you like it? Yes, Your Majesty. You liked it very well. Thank you, Your Majesty. Very much, eh? Thank you. Ah, good. Go. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Ah. Oh no! Yeah! Yeah! Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so happy. So happy. With you by my side, I can three thousand. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, Your Majesty. Yes. Um, now that the atmosphere is serene and everyone uh, yes. is happy, uh, uh, I think uh, I should play the music. Yes, I think we can allow that. Yes. Your Majesty. <laughs> We are in an expansive mood. Uh, there should be eating, feasting, and drinking and whining. Let there be atmosphere of general merriment. Play the music. Yes, loud. Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> No shine on, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a little bit. I'll get it. Oh, fear my bunny dim no be. Hey, yeah. The second one, but not dim ready. Hey, yeah. My baby, but she want my long thing. Hey, yeah. The things I got, girl, I go give you. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful design. Girl, you know that I love you till I die hey, You know that I love you, oh, you forever, ever in my mind I give you my word, oh, girl, you so fine, oh Your beautiful smile, oh, oh please give me more oh, oh. My baby dance, yo, in my vision, no I do as a dance, yo, in my vision, no In my vision, no Wanna give you long, 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 long. I wanna do you, uh, 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 um. Take you to Hong Kong, 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 Kong. Oh, yeah, baby, long, come, 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 come. Wanna give you long, 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 long. I wanna do you, uh, 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 um. Take you to Hong Kong, 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 Kong. Oh, yeah, man, hey. Baby, girl, no be like a day of day. Now your love be make me for post three. And I really love you, my medication. I give you my word, oh. Yeah, you so fine, oh. Baby, dance you, the money is in love. I do 